Hello guys and welcome back to Get Set Python. In this video, we will see what is a virtual environment and how we can use it to make our projects work more efficiently and properly. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So you know that many a times you have to install various packages to use in your project. For example, we have seen using beautiful soup request and you have often used django flask or other python dependencies in your projects now what happen is that when you do something like sudo pip3 install and package name for example request it will install the package globally and you can see that it installs in here user slash local slash lib slash python3 etc so this whole package is installed globally on your pc now it may happen sometimes that you want to use two different versions of the same package in two different projects for example suppose you have built a project using flask one year ago and at that time you were using some different version of flask but now you want to use it in another project and now we have flask upgraded so if you try to install flask globally again then it will upgrade to a newer version but the project that you built using an older version of flask will be broken so the solution to it is that you create different environments for different projects and install separate versions of packages for each of your project let me elaborate so if you see which python here you can see that path to our python is this but when we create separate environments what we do is we create def different interpreters of python for our different projects so to install virtual environment the command is sudo pip3 install virtual env now it may take some time to install next we have to create a virtual environment using the command virtual env and our environment name now you can name it anything but by convention we name it venv that is when virtual environment short so it will give you some basic packages like setup tools pip wheel and now you can see that we have our virtual environment here but to work in this virtual environment we have to activate it so source venv that is our virtual environment name slash bin slash activate now you can see that here we have got a virtual environment name which suggests that we have actually activated it now if i do which python we get slash home slash this that is our python is now in venv slash bin and not originally that was user slash bin slash python and if i just show you the version of python we have python version 3.5.2 and if i just show you the dependencies that i have installed we just have pip setup tools and wheel because we have created a separate environment and it is a fresh start so we don't have other dependencies now we can simply install pip install vs4 for example to install beautiful soup and if we do pip list again 
we have beautiful soup and vs4 here now notice that we didn't put pip3 here because by default it is python 3.5 version and it doesn't matter now because we have only one version of python in this environment now to deactivate we can just write deactivate and you will see that this thing disappears and now if we do pip list or we have to do pip3 list actually for python 3 you can see we have all of this right here now if you want to use python 2 version you can specify it here that virtual environment venv python is equal to python 2 oops i just missed these here and you can see that this new python executable is here and if we just activate it and see python version it is python 2.7.12 and if you do which python to see the path it is this one and again doing pip list you can see that we have just three these packages and similarly we can install pip install bs4 but this time it will be in python 2 version so this is how virtual environment is useful now we'll be just deactivating it again so that was all the use of virtual environment and once you start building projects you will understand that it is important to use virtual environment to create separate environments for separate projects and to keep all the dependencies at one place and of one version for a particular project now i'll just show you one more important thing that we can do with this virtual environment so we have the list here now you will often come across the thing that you have to mention all the libraries that you have used in your project so there is just a simple one line command pip freeze requirements dot txt and it will store all these packages into this requirements dot txt file so you don't have to manually write each and every dependency that you have used in your project and you can see that we have this requirement dot txt and if i just show you what we have here you can see that these are the external packages that we installed that were beautiful soup and bs4 now if i just install one more package pip install request and if i again do this pip freeze requirements.txt you can see that we got all the other additional packages that we installed right now so in this way you can organize your requirements of a package in a more beautiful manner but more than this creating a separate virtual environment for each project will be very useful in longer run so i hope you got how virtual environment is essential for our python projects so that's it from this video guys and i'll see you in the next one till then stay tuned bye bye and have fun with python